Avery Dickens de Giron, the Executive Director at Vanderbilt Center for Latin American Studies. Welcome to our Ethnobotanical Latin American Garden. One of our most well-known species is the milkweed. Now this species of milkweed is native to Mexico and the Caribbean uh, and so it's slightly different from the North American milkweed that grows here naturally. This one is known as the bud blood flower and you can tell it's just got very beautiful flowers that attract monarchs. So milkweeds and monarchs have a symbi symbiotic relationship. The butterflies will drink the nectar from the flowers and so will pollinate the, the milkweed plants and the, the butterflies will lay eggs on these leaves of the monarch plant. And then when the caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they eat the leaves of the plant. Now, it turns out that the sap of the milkweed plant, which if you look closely, it's very white and milky. So the reason why milk, we call milkweeds milkweeds, uh, but it also turns out that the sap has a very bitter taste. It's toxic. And so that makes the, the caterpillars taste bad to birds or other predators that they might have. And so helps, um, helps them live longer. And so monarchs, as you, as you may know, travel from Mexico up to North America each year and then back down. So they winter in Mexico from October to March and then they come back up during the summer months uh, when, when these plants are in bloom in this part of the country. And so it's really important for monarchs to have these milkweeds um, located along the entire journey that they travel. Now, the, the sap is also interesting because it can be used um, as, as a medicine in particular, it can be used against skin parasites like warts. And so it's an irritant, so you don't wanna put it on your hands unless you, unless you have a wart or you're trying to treat yourself. But if you put this on a wart, it will help cure the wart. And that is just one of the many interesting uses of the milkweed plant. The Latin American Ethnobotanical Garden was created by Vanderbilt Center for Latin American Studies in 2017. To learn more, visit us online at vanderbilt.edu backslash CLAS and follow along with the garden on Instagram.